Welcome to the Invested Central Small Cap Technology Picks for 2010. This is video two of two. I'm Tom Boley, Chief Market Strategist at Invested Central. Um, I do want to refer you to our disclaimer in video one of two, so please check that out if you haven't already. Um, also, you can review our terms of use at uh, www.investedcentral.com. Um, in our first video, we took a look at Compellent Technologies, ticker symbol CML. This is our second candidate, NEWP Newport Corp. Notice that the, the stock made a huge move from the March lows all the way through mid-September, and since that time has been consolidating in a fairly lengthy cup. Um, we've moved up to the right-hand side of the cup, and notice on this right side the incredible increase in volume. Uh, I think that's very significant and now we are sitting in this handle pattern and once we break out assuming we break out above 950 to 955 this measurement would be up to about twelve dollars which we do expect in the early part of 2010 uh, volume trends have been very strong I do want to point out that this is a company that has traded bet mostly between 100 and 200,000 shares so it's not the most liquid stock uh, that we've looked at so definitely keep that in mind but the MACD here very strong we like this bullish continuation pattern the cup and handle pattern that's in play and uh, it just in the short term got a little ahead of itself as you can see RSI had been over 70 stochastics were up near 100 so this recent handle has actually helped to relieve some of the overbought conditions but going forward 2010 looks like it should be a good year for NEWP our third candidate for um, 2010 is Advanced Energy Industries, ticker symbol AEIS. Um, you can see from the chart here it has been in a parallel uptrend channel for the last uh, several months, well, actually all the way back since the March lows. Once again, take a look at the volume trends, really picking up on each of the moves to the upside. We saw heavy volume accompanying those moves. That's a very bullish sign. But the heaviest volume of all came right toward the end of the year as the stock made uh, a huge move up from about $12 to 15 put in this flagpole, and then was breaking out right at the end of the year. So we expect in a fairly near term, this measurement on this breakout above $15 actually measures up to 18 We would look for that in the near term, but further out, we think a AEIS could do uh, much better. Again, we like the volume trends. The MACD looks very strong at this point. So outside of a possible pullback because of um, overbought conditions, and I'm not saying uh, uh, immediately, but at some point probably over the next few weeks, we're going to get a decent pullback on the stock because it is overbought, but we look at that as an opportunity to accumulate. Uh, the fourth candidate is Vance Info Technologies, ticker symbol VIT. Uh, this is another one that has looked very strong in terms of volume trends. Take a look at, in mid-May how the volume all of a sudden started picking up on this stock and look at the resulting uptrend. And this comes on the heels of a pretty steep rise from March to May. So we think that this, is, this increase here actually got the attention of the investing public and now we're seeing a lot more volume on the stock as it continues to trend higher. We look for this trend to continue into 2010. MACD very solid. Again, volume trends look off the charts. Uh, the stock did approach overbought territory here just a few days ago and as a result we're seeing a little bit of a pullback but we do like the chart unless it breaks this trend line with some very heavy volume somewhere down the road we would look to accumulate on any weakness um, finally the um, our final stock is source fire ticker symbol fire gotta like this uh, ticker symbol fire um, we think it could be on fire during 2010 this is a company that has been moving straight up. It looks to be under uh, incredible accumulation. Very, very nice volume trends on each move to the upside. Notice the breakaway gap back in late July. And now as the stock continues to push higher with very nice volume trends, the MACD is just getting a little bit stretched. So this is another one that's overbought in the near term. We think we could see some short-term pullbacks along the way. But other than that, we expect this stock to uh, to continue to do well throughout 2010. I want to thank you for joining us uh, and checking out our stocks of 2010. I want to wish you the best of luck throughout the year. Happy trading.